Hi, I'm Robin with Big Doodle Dreams, and these are the distraction puppies because I'm not going to talk about puppies. I'm actually going to talk about MDR1 gene mutation. These guys are Aussie Doodles, Australian Shepherd Poodle mixes. They are multi generational, and um, the MDR1 gene is something that is a risk to many of the herding breeds. So the Australian Shepherd is one of those breeds that, that can be a carrier or can be an affected dog from the MDR1 gene. MDR1 is multi-drug resistance. That means that certain medications can, can build up in the brain and can cause an adverse reaction and unfortunately, if your dog is, is not just a carrier, but isn't affected, meaning they have two copies of the genetic mutation, if you give them heartworm medication, you risk, you risk them dying from it. It is something that, um, like I was saying, it builds up in the brain. And, and uh, multi-drug means that there are several drugs that can cause this adverse reaction. Ivermectin is one of those drugs. Imodium, which is sold over the counter, is another one of those drugs. And then there are a few more that would be administered by your vet. And, and those are, one of them is, is a pain medication. Another one is used when, when you're doing surgery. But the MDR1 gene mutation is typically found in the herding breeds. The Australian Shepherd, the Border Collie, the rough and the smooth coated collie, the old English sheepdog, the German shepherd, and there are a few more. And, and if you have a mix that has one of those breeds, then testing for the MDR1 gene mutation would be a really good idea. It doesn't matter whether you got your dog from a breeder, you got your dog from the pound, if they have a herding breed in them, then you risk that they have this genetic mutation, the MDR1 gene. Um, if you go online and you look it up, there are several places where you can get the test. The test is not a blood test. It's very simple. It is a swab that you put inside of your dog's mouth and you put it on the cheek, not on the gums or the teeth, and, and you essentially collect part of their, their skin cells by rubbing this on the inside and you send it away. And when, when it's, <laughs> a kitty came through the picture. Um, once you send it in, you'll have results within a matter of a week or two. And, and it's honestly an inexpensive test. It's $60 to have that test administered. And, and as a breeder, I, you know, I test my dogs for this gene mutation, but I can tell you that not all breeders test for that. And if you have a, a dog that has that herding breed mixed in, then you will want to consider going ahead and getting that MDR1 you know, gene mutation test. Uh, Washington State University offers the test, and like I said, it's $60, so it really isn't that big of a deal to do it and to have peace of mind and make sure that you're not going to have a problem down the road. But many of your medications, your heartworm medications, your deworming medications, will have ivermectin in it and there's no sense in taking a, a risk, certainly not on, on your baby that you've got. So these guys are both spoken for, so don't, you know, don't, don't contact me and ask. They're both spoken, they both have homes, um, and they are babies. They're not even six weeks old yet, but I figured this was a good time to show a couple of my puppies and, and what they look like. And I, I know that they are negative for MDR1, I'm, I'm proud to tell you that. So anyway, visit my website, Big Doodle Dreams. Subscribe to my channel. You know, leave me, leave me a message. Let me know if there's something that you want me to cover because I'm trying my best to cover as many different topics as I can think of. And um, it was great offering this information to you.